two minutes. Today we'll be talking to Ashley the Leopard. Come on over, Ashley. So, how do animals like you get their nutrition? Well, animals like me rely on other animals for food. We eat them. Okay, that's violent. Well, now let's head on over to Abigail at the Science Lab with Dr. Krauss. Hello! Today, I'm here at the Science Lab, and unfortunately, Dr. Krauss can't make it right now, so we're talking to Dr. Rangel. Dr. Rangel, can you describe to me some parts of the animal cell? This is ridiculous. Uh, wait, what? what? She's gone! Dr. Krauss, it's, it's a miracle. Yes, it is a miracle. Sleeping scientists is nothing to mess with. Okay, well then, since you're here, why don't you tell me the main parts that make up the animal cell? Okay, so some of the main parts of the animal cell are the nucleus, cytoplasm, and the cell membrane. That's great now, but what is that stuff? The nucleus directs the way the cell grows, develops, and divides. And cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance that surrounds the nucleus. Okay, but what about the cell membrane? The cell membrane controls what goes in and out of the cell. That's really fascinating, but now it's time to head back to Abby and Ashley the Leopard at the forest. So Ashley, how do animals reproduce? Well, mammals reproduce by giving live birth and reptiles lay eggs. That's awesome! That's all on how much can you learn in two minutes.